And we're back with another Tech Edu Tips video. Uh, just three things, three settings I want to show you in Zoom that's really important. I'm going to show you this first one right here at the top as I mute my notification windows. And uh, require all meetings are secured with one security option. This is new. I just turned this on actually. Um, what it does is it makes sure that all of your meetings either have a passcode, password, a waiting room, or only authenticated users can join meetings. Um, the password is obvious. I do it on a line anyway. I have the waiting room in, enabled for everything. Uh, you can customize it and you can make it so that it's only users not in your account. Um, that's probably a good idea. So I'm going to make that. So what that does is anyone who's in my domain, so my students and other people at my university, they can skip the waiting room, but anyone else is in the waiting room. So that's a good idea. So that I have that set up. Um, it's a good idea to come back and look at these options because they keep changing and, and I'm finding new ones myself. So the other one that I've talked to a lot of people about is muting all participants when they join a meeting. This is super important. Um, it drives me crazy when I'm in large meetings, like a hundred or more people, and people keep joining, their microphones are open, they don't realize their microphones are opening, we're hearing their pets, which is great, but we're also hearing private conversations or their, their cell phone conversations that they don't realize they're sharing. So for the security of my own students and colleagues, I enable this. this in my opinion, this should be like the default and locked down by my institution that all sessions run by our institution have this set. This is for the safety of the people joining our chats. Um, so yeah, turn this on, you'll thank me later. Okay, so there's that one. And then there is the chat logs. So um, not just chat logs, but chats. So for me, it's really important that you leave this to everyone and anyone directly. So I want my students to use the chat. And I want them not just to use the chat talking to me. Um, I love that they can send me private messages and anonymously ask questions so they don't feel called out. Um, and, and I try not to call them out on it. I say random students said this, but I want them to use a chat to talk to each other publicly in the general chat, but also they can send DMs between each other. That's great. Because um, if you don't allow it here, they're just going to use another side channel somewhere else. They probably will anyway, but there's no reason to restrict this, in my opinion, unless you're running a webinar or something and you want to protect all these people that aren't connected socially from receiving bad, ugly messages. Um, that's a whole different thing. But for my classroom, I trust my students. I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to let them use it. Another feature is let people save the chats, right? So if there's a lot of good messages inside the chat, I want my students to be able to save it. Could be some excellent tips, could be some links, could be a bunch of information there that they want to save. So definitely we want to leave this available. Um, you probably want to let everyone um, just, just turn it on. You'll, you'll thank me as well. So that's my message for that. One thing about the chat that I'll add as a bonus tip, your chat log will include all of the publicly me visible messages and all of the private messages that were related to you. You won't be able to see the private messages of the students. I'm sure that's in the log files on the server somewhere if needed. But um, you, if you're going to share that chat, make sure you peel out and remove those private messages before you go and share the chat from the day's uh, class with your students. So those are the three uh, really important settings that I think you should all have set inside your Zoom settings. Um, if you've got more suggestions or more questions about these, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. If this was helpful, let me know. And um, if you've got suggestions for other videos that I could record, just uh, leave a message down there below as well or contact me. Have an excellent rest of your day, evening, morning, afternoon, or whatever you are and what time you are. And thanks for watching.